Welcome back. We're going to look at Excel form controls. Form controls are a, a means that we can use for uh, specifying the, the input for a model. Uh, you can see a representation of the different kinds of form controls available within Excel. Here on the spreadsheet, you notice there's a difference between form controls and active X. Form controls go on the spreadsheet, active X are used in macros. Now the form controls are available off the ribbon under the developer tab. If you don't have the developer tab showing up in your workbook, uh, then if you have Excel 2007, then the way that you would, would access that is go to the Office button, Excel options, uh, under those options popular, and then just select the show developer tab in the ribbon. If you have Excel 2010 uh, from the file tab options customize ribbon and then you would select developer so those are two different ways of, of getting to the the form controls okay well let's uh, create an example and then show how to use the form controls what we'll use is a, a loan scenario so some loan amount, annual interest rate, number of months, and then just using the Excel payment function. Let's look at how we can use form controls to, to uh, control and, and vary the inputs into this model. From the developer tab, you can insert, and then you can, you can select on and then place one of these form controls into your model. Uh, so, for example, if I want to select the combo box, I click on it, go to my model, draw the, uh, the size of that form control, which can be resized, and place it in the worksheet. Then to specify the inputs, I click on that form control and bring up the format control. Now you can see the format control over here to the right as a, as a screen image so you can refer back to it. So for format control, I need to give an input range and then a link to which is going to, to show the outcome. Input range is I want to, to be able to vary the number of months. So this is going to be my, my input range right here, G5 to G8 and then I'm going to put a link after I make a selection that link is going to be here in cell B15 and then let me click on OK now if I click off the form control and now click on that and say select 24 notice it gives me the value 1 36 value 2 so with the, the combo box and also the list box which we'll get to in just a minute when you make a selection, which gives you the, the uh, position within that range for the value selected. So with a combo box or a list box, the way we would make use of that is if I come up here for number of months, I could use, an, say, an index function. So equals index, uh, left parenthesis. I like this array. And then for the row number, click on this uh, the cell link that we had, and I close parentheses, and then you'll see that the number two here is showing 36, a second item in that list, and so then if I change it to to 48, you can see the 48 here, and then the corresponding payment. So that's a, a very useful way to be able to control and uh, and even make it easier for the input for a particular model. Now the list box is a very similar uh, type of, of control. I've already placed it on the worksheet. So let me just select it and then bring up the format control. Notice you have an input range and a cell link, so a very uh, common interface with what we saw in the combo box. Let's do the same thing for an input and a cell link. So an input, and we'll specify these number of months. And for the cell link, let's put it 
here in cell B20. And then OK. And then you can see instead of just a, a drop down with the selection, if I click off of that, where we could select within a, a list, a particular one, and you can see it shows up with the same cell link to give you the position within that range. And so in a, in a similar way we could come up here and instead of uh, for my index uh, for the the row number instead of it being B15 I could just make that B20 and then if I change in my list box you can see it changes the number of months and then changes the payment okay so that's two of them let's look at two more scroll and spin so I'm going to go to a different worksheet for that and so I've already placed on the in the worksheet a scroll bar and a spin button and they have very similar inputs for their form controls a current value a min and a max and an incremental change uh, so again let's control the input into the number of months I've decided to have a, a current value of 24 a min of 24 a max of 72 an increment of, of 1 and you can see a very common interface with those inputs uh, again a cell link uh, but in, in this case a cell link would go actually back to the model itself so let's go to the scroll bar and, and illustrate this if I select on it go up to the format control enter 24 for the current 24 to 72 for the min the max incremental change of 1 and then cell link, let's place it here for an, in the model itself. And then OK. Click off the form control. And now as we select on the scroll bar, notice as I select and click on it, the number of months is, is changing. And as those number of months changes, then the, the payment changes. Spin button is the, uh, the same type of, of interface and the same linkage off the form control into this. So uh, other form controls we haven't talked about uh, but they're all uh, uh, very easy to implement and very useful. Uh, thanks. See you next time.